Hey tennis fans and welcome to today's Tennis Now Racket Review where today we're giving you a look at the brand new Wilson Steam 99S and Steam 105S. Built as the next big thing in racket technology, Wilson has created Spin Effect, which promises to enhance spin by a whopping 10%, adding over 200 RPMs to your ground strokes. They've accomplished this feat by decreasing the number of cross or horizontal strings to just 15, which frees up the 16 vertical or main strings to snap back on contact, creating more spin. The Steam 99S features a 99 square inch head size, a two point headlight balance, and a strung weight of 11.3 ounces. The Steam 105S has a slightly larger head size, a four point headlight balance, and a strung weight of 10.8 ounces. You'll also get an extra half inch in length with the 105. Both rackets feature Amplifeel 360 technology, which adds feel and comfort via basalt and carbon handle construction. So I've been hearing about this spin effect technology for a while now, and I was really interested in giving it a try and seeing if it was all it was cracked up to be. I started off hitting with the Steam 99S, uh, again, I was a little concerned with the whole extra spin concept. Wilson actually says they, the technology is like lowering the net by two feet, meaning you're going to get that much more clearance. I, I definitely don't have interest in reverting back to my 12 and under girls days, uh, so I was interested to see if I could really control the driving power as well as the spin. But I was pleasantly surprised with the 99. Uh, again, I felt like once I got used to it, once I added a little bit more brush, a little more low to high to my stroke, I felt like I was able to get the balls nice and deep, and they had power too. They weren't sitting up, which was a concern uh, for me with this racket. I actually felt really good on my volleys as well. This racket's obviously geared more toward baseliners, but it's only about two points head light, which makes this racket a really stable racket at the net. I felt like I had good control, and I was still able to get my volleys nice and deep. Same thing on my overheads, uh, again, on the serve as well. I felt like I was able to get power as well as the spin. And sometimes you feel like with a technology like this called spin effect, you're gonna be missing out on something like power. But that really wasn't the case with the 99. Now the 105S was a bit of a different story. Uh, I felt like I had a cannon with this racket on my forehand and my backhand and my serve, uh, which is usually a great thing, except when the balls are hitting the fence. Uh, it definitely took me some time to get used to the power with this racket, and that's why if you decide to go with the 105S, I would recommend going with a string like uh, Luxalon Big Banger, Babolat RPM Blast, or maybe even Technifiber Black. A poly string will really give you a little extra control on those ground strokes. But once I got my rhythm, I was able to add in a little more brush up the back of the ball. Um, I definitely felt like I had a whole lot of clearance with this racket, which is a good thing, but you also want to make sure you're balancing that with a lot of forward movement and a lot of drive as well, so you don't have balls that are sitting up. I felt like it was a really great racket for my slice. Uh, that's something I wasn't really expecting. Apparently the spin effect uh, technology works with the back spin as well as the top spin. At the net, I felt really comfortable, again, like the 99S. This is a pretty sturdy racket up at the net. It's slightly more head light than the 99S, but my volleys felt really consistent and solid. Felt like I had a ton of power on my overhead, same thing on my serve, which is again a great thing, but you really have to hone in on your target. That's a huge thing with this racket in particular. Overall, I really felt like these rackets had a worthwhile technology that's probably gonna affect the way that rackets are manufactured from here on out. But as great as the spin is, it's not everything. You really have to have some drive along with the spin to have a complete game. I will say both of these rackets have Amplifeel 360 technology in the handle, which it's hard for me to compare because I didn't play with the previous version of the Steam, but it felt really, really good on my elbow and my shoulder, which is a fantastic thing for somebody who's had a long tennis career. Uh, but that's all for today's Tennis Now review. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give these rackets a try. I would definitely recommend demoing them. Uh, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.